Hi, this is Leslie Langnaw with Design World Magazine, and I'm here at the Rapid Show with Jonah Meyerberg, who is Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of one of the more exciting technologies on the floor today, Desktop Metal. So tell me a little bit, how did you guys come up with an idea of making a desktop additive machine that works in metal. There's so many safety hazards <laughs> that have to be overcome. That's true, that's true. And that's really what uh, inspired us to do it. Uh, we wanted to get away from the safety requirements and safety hazards that are behind uh, traditional metal 3D printing. So with a common additive, laser-based additive manufacturing systems, you have a powder bed and those powders can explode. Mm -hmm. Those powders are dangerous. Yeah. Uh, you've got lasers flying all around. Um, it's just not a office friendly uh, type of process and we want to bring additive manufacturing of metal into uh, the engineer's work, into his office. So this is the size, this is the size of the system. That's right. So how did you, what did you do to the metal to make it something that can be extruded? So we bind the metal with a, a concoction of, of uh, polymers, so a binder system that's developed to be very printable and still allow the metal to be highly loaded within it. And it's these rods that you see feeding into the machines and there's on display over here yeah. in different materials. Yeah, um, I saw the rods. The rods, they're, the rods are, have a very high percentage of metal powder inside of them okay. um, and a low volume percentage of binder, but the binder allows the powder to flow and keeps it in place so that it doesn't dust up in the air and, and cause harm. Now what kind of metal materials can you do this with? That's the beautiful thing. Uh, unlike some other 3D manufacturing processes, bound metal deposition uh, is basically standing on the shoulders of the metal injection molding community that's been operating for the past 40 years. Metal injection molding has hundreds of alloys that have been developed for injection molding and then for densification, and we have access to them all. So now once somebody builds a part, it also, the part has to go through a furnace heat treatment kind of a post-process? That's right, that's right. So the, because the part is part polymer when it's printed, we need to remove those polymers, creating a very porous structure, and then we consolidate the powder into a finished part that is over 99% dense. Wow. Yep. And we do that consolidation all at once. Instead of layer by layer by layer in powder bed deposition, um, and like laser deposition, we do that consolidation all at once, and so you get very homogeneous microstructure and metallurgy properties in your part. So that, in a way, that can be better than some of the other systems because you do know what's going on in the metal part. You know where, if there's any gaps or holes or anything within the actual part. That's right, that's right. When you, when you build up a part using a, uh, a laser approach, uh, layer by layer, the part thicknesses, the wall thicknesses, the geometry can actually affect the microstructure of the part. And so you don't, you're not really sure what you've got. In the bound metal deposition process, what we do is we take the entire part up to temperature all at once. The consolidation happens all at once. And so the thermal profile in the furnace determines the microstructure at the end. And it can be tuned. So you have software that an engineer can use to just kind of see how this final stage is going to perform. Yes, it's a cloud-based software that we built ourselves. It starts with this slicer to help you build the part, help you support it where it needs to be supported, add interface layers between the support and the part so that when the part comes out of the furnace, it can just be lifted off of its supports. Um, the entire strategy that goes behind uh, building the part is stored in the system. It's a cloud-based, and that part is now transferred to the furnace, the furnace knows what it's going to be, you know, baking, what it's going to be sintering. The software has told it, so it knows the uh, sintering profile that it needs to make. And um, everything is is uh, talking to itself, talking in. I understand this is for the desktop engineer, so this is like for prototyping, maybe some small parts manufacturing, but you also have another system that's more for production? That's right. We have um, designed this studio system to be your solution to one to 100 parts. Okay. Uh, low volume prototyping, get the part right, iterate it, right. determine what you want, but design it for additively manufactured. Mm -hmm. Once you've got your product <clears throat> your part designed um, and you've printed it and you've used it, it's a fully functional part, you can then take it into mass production using our production machine. So the DM production is designed to print uh, over 100 times faster. So now we're talking about 100,000 parts uh, that we're cost competitive with. 
Now some exciting news that was released this morning is that Stratasys is a partner with you in, in a distribution type of an arrangement. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, sure, yeah. So Stratasys has always been a very close partner of ours. Uh, they were an early investor uh, and um, they're a good friend. Uh, the, the 3D printing community is still very small um, and we all know each other. Um, but what Stratasys brings to the table is this network of distribution for 3D printers and this know-how. Um, and um, it, you know, the, uh, the best technologies often aren't the ones that succeed. Uh, you need distribution with your technology and, uh, and Stratasys is a great partner. So now if engineers want to find more about your systems, what, what's your website? Where can they go to? They can go to www.desktopmetal.com. Brand new website that we launched last week. <laughs> A lot of great information on there, a lot of videos, and some really cool pictures. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome, yeah, thank you. Thank you, and that's the news with Desktop Metal here at The Rapid Show.